I've got to say something about Jim. You know, it takes a lot for Gene and I to leave our ranch down in Navasota. So when Bob called me and said that we're going to have a tribute for Jim Harrison, we said, we'll be there. Now, it's raining and thundering out there. We never fly in bad weather. But today we were determined to be here to uh, give a tribute to Jim, and, uh, and that's why we're here, because we love this guy. You know, amazing Jim. You know, I've known Jim from the early 60s, and I used to watch him fight at all the events that I, I'd go to and fight in, and, and he'd be knocking these guys unconscious. I said, man, this guy has no control. You know, <laughs> and, and, and uh, anyway, he comes down to my karate school one day. He says, let's spar. I said, okay. <laughs> anyway, we start sparring. And uh, anyway, I come in to do a move on Jim, and Jim throws a punch. Bam, and stops it right there. I said, he does have control. <laughs> but I met uh, Josh Barnett at the last uh, Pride fight in Vegas before UFC bought them. And I was talking to Josh, and he says, I think you know my instructor. I said, really, who's that? And he says, Jim Harrison. I said, yeah, I know him. He's one of my good friends. And I said, no wonder you're so dadgum tough, you know? <laughs> and I said, because uh, Jim, you know, Jim's one of the toughest guys I know. But uh, anyway, we, we're so proud to be here to uh, honor uh, Jim today. and and just let you know how much we love you, buddy. Thank you.